now let's fix some of the warnings or the problems that we have in the app so just click on this top right corner where we have this tick also so from there we can have a look at all the problems or the warnings now these will not have any effect on your app or this will not change the working of your app but it is better to get rid of them as much as possible so let's go through them one by one all right the first one says method invocation set title may produce null pointer exception now if we hover over the set title method we have an tip that we can replace it with objects dot require non null so let's do that just replace it and the warning will go away then the second one says anonymous new view dot on click listener can be replaced with lambda so using a lambda it means that we can shorten up our code and it's still the same code but instead of using a lot of listeners or writing code without using an IDE, it's better to go with Lambda. So just hover over it and then replace with Lambda. That warning will also go away. Then the same warning for swipe refresh listener. So we can replace it with lambda. Then on set positive button also. Then the next one is unused import statement. So we can just optimize imports. Optimizing means it will remove all the imports that we are not using. Then the next one says do not concatenate text displayed with set text and instead use resource string with placeholders. So here we are using plus sign to add strings. So the workaround for this is to use a resource string. So let's see how we can do that. Here we have a constant string welcome. Then we have to add a variable string that is full name. It can have different values. Then we have to again add a an exclamation mark at the end so let's see how we can do that just get into your resource directory and then under values open strings.xml here we will define a new string and let the name be welcome head profile and then let's have the value as welcome So in the user profile activity, we can get rid of the string. So let's get rid of everything and then we can just write get string. Then within bracket r.string.welcome head profile. Then comma full name. Full name is the variable that will hold the name of the user. So it is still showing an error because we have not set up any placeholder in our string resource. So let's get back to strings.xml and after welcome let's add one placeholder that is percentage $1 s. s is for string then exclamation mark because we want to add the exclamation mark after the name of the user. So everything is fine now and we don't have any error let's run the app and you can see that we have the same result that we had before without concatenating the strings so in the same way you can open the rest of the activities and try to get rid of the warnings or the problems as much as you can and even if you don't understand them you can just leave them because they are not going to change the working of your app it will remain the same so you can just leave it out if you want